Yeah, I'm making this YouTube video because I just had some more information uh, shown me doing some Bible study. And this is, to me, it's huge, okay? I mean, you might not be seeing what I'm seeing or you might not, you know, be believing what I'm believing. But what I'm getting ready to tell you is I believe that Bill Gates is, in fact, the Antichrist, okay? And let me explain why I say I believe he is the Antichrist. Is because... <clears throat> I was doing some thinking and I got to thinking about something. Now, everybody knows about the coronavirus or corona. So I was like, okay. And the Bible talks about he's given the crown to go forth to conquer and conquer. It's in Revelation 6 2 and uh, at the King James Bible. And I saw and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him and he went forth to conquer and conquer okay so he was given the crown so he didn't have the crown but he was given the crown now so I got to thinking well oh let me see where I was at do you know and you can google this up and check it yourself what are the synonyms for crown you know what are crowns called what are you know in the history of people what have they always used to call crowns one of the words that they use to refer to a crown is called corona. Coronavirus. Corona. A crown is called corona. It's a synonym. You can look it up. What are the names for crowns, synonyms, and it lists corona. I just found that hugely interesting that in Revelation it talks about he's given a crown, and the crown just so happens to be the word for crown is corona. I mean, I, I, I just can't, that, to me, that just checks another box off my video that I said, could be could he be the Antichrist? Well, I'm leaning to like, he yeah, he probably is the Antichrist, okay? <laughs> because think about it. He's not going to come out and say, I'm the Antichrist to the unsaved world, okay? But true Bible-believing Christians will do Bible studies and research and start putting the puzzle pieces together, and they might see the bigger picture Whereas the lost person ain't going to see it. And then when the rapture takes place, the veil is lifted, and now the people see, oh, no, I'm in the tribulation. That's the Antichrist. But by then, it's too late. Okay? And this is another thing. Uh, this is what I was thinking about, too. Hold on a second. I got so much stuff going on here. I got to... Okay. Now, the uh, COVID... Uh, 19 vaccination when he first started human trials and you can google it the first person to receive the so-called vaccine was on march 17 2020 okay well i did a date count from march 17 2020 to september 7th 2020 because i personally believe and i'm going to do a study later on but i just wanted to get this one out just in case the because we're still in the passover window so the rapture could still possibly happen and i want you people to know that Bill Gates is most likely the Antichrist. Just in case I get raptured out of here while Passover is in the middle of going on Passover. So, because Passover still isn't over with. Okay. Well, anyway, getting back to what I was saying. March 17, 2020 is when the COVID vaccine was given to a person. Okay. On September 7, 2020 is when I believe the tribulation is going to begin. Okay. And I'll go into that later on. But if you do a date count from... The, seven, the March 17, 2020 to September 7, 2020 as 174 days or 5 months and 21 days. Okay? You know, they're already saying the vaccine is going to take uh, like 12 to 18 months, but I think what's going to happen is the clock's going to speed up because they're so desperate to get it. So they're going to they're gonna like cram it through all the testing and everything to get it out to people. Okay? So I'm just saying that September 7, 2020 is when I'm theorizing that the vaccine comes out and he's sort of giving it out to people. That's when Bill Gates actually takes possession and becomes the actual Antichrist because he gets the crown, he gets the vaccine that he can go out and give it to everybody. That's what I'm thinking in my head. I don't know if it's right or not, but to me it makes sense because it's going to be a digital certificate. And he probably, the reason they probably need the, 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 the additional time it's probably to, to get that digital certificate, you know, all, all the bugs worked out of it, okay? The vaccine, they're already giving the injections to people, but they got to get that digital 
digital certificate up and running before they can actually go out and give the vaccine to everybody. Is what my theory is. I don't know if I'm right or not, but it makes sense to me. They need more time to get all the kinks worked out of the digital certificate. Okay, how are you going to do it? How are you going to track it? What database is going to get stored in? they got to put all that stuff together. The vaccine, they probably can put together pretty quick, but the actual digital certificate tracking everybody is what's going to take the time, and that's why they need to have a little bit more time to do it. That's just me using you know common sense. It's, I mean, I, I, they've always had vaccinations. Babies get them. Everybody's getting them. A, a shot ain't no big deal. They can come up with a shot and vaccine pretty quick. But how are you going to track a digital certificate that you're going to inject in people, and then what database is it going to be on? How are you going to collect the data? How is it going to get transmitted? How is it going to get tracked and monitored? You know, that's a little bit more complicated. I mean, it can be done with today's technology, but I'm just saying. But anyway, getting back to what I was saying, all right? From March 17, 2020 to June 9, 2020, okay, I think that June 9, 2020 is either two possibilities, okay? When the clinical trials for the testing is over with, and they go ahead and approve it to start giving it out to people, okay? To start giving it out to people. They're probably going to give it to first responders first and then, you know, go into military and stuff like that, give it all out to them. But I'm thinking June 9th, 2020 is going to be a key date. That could be when the uh, rioting and looting starts because people by then are going to be out of food. So that's another thing I was thinking about. And the only reason I'm saying the rioting and, and the looting and all that stuff can be, and the, the martial law can be implemented and they can start, you know, arresting people and grabbing people out of houses and stuff. An uprising could probably happen on June 9th because you're going to be probably running out of food. That's the only thing I'm thinking about. You're going to be running out of food. And now there was a video. I just posted it on my, on my YouTube channel from another guy's YouTube channel. But I like what he says, and I agree with what he's saying, and I think he has a lot of relevant information. That's why I keep posting his videos up when he comes out with a new video. Okay. But anyway, I think that June 9, 2020 is when people are going to probably run out of food and start getting desperate for food. Okay, that's going to be the martial law impact, and that's where you're going to start having more martial law and more police state type mentality coming out. That's just a thinking I'm thinking. I don't know if it's true or not, but could be. All right, and that's uh, from the date the first person got the injection of the vaccine testing started on a person till June 9, 2020, when I'm thinking that the riots and starts are going to start happening for food and panicking and gas lines and all that stuff. We're already seeing some of it now. But that's 84 days, okay? It's two months and 23 days or 84 days, all right? Now, if you go from June 9, 2020, when all the uh, chaos starts ensuing, you know, where people get scarce on food and can't go back to work and all this stuff, and everybody's been locked down for all this time, okay? Now, all of a sudden, September 7th comes out, 2020, Bill Gates has the vaccine, now he can give you the vaccine so you can go back to so-called normal, which ain't really so normal and ain't ever going to be back that way. But that's what he can put in place, and that is 90 days or two months and 29 days exactly. I mean, I'm just throwing these numbers out here. I'm just, you know, doing date counts. And like I said, the reason I come up with like the 90-day gap or whatever is because if you take the Revelation 12 sign and you go on the assumption that it was a woman giving birth, that was the beginning of birth pains, and you give a gap in between each contraction, interestingly enough, if you do a Google search and you check it, you check all this stuff out yourself, you've got a computer, you know how to use it, all right? Go online, do date count, okay? Do your uh, Revelation 12 sign, date when it happened, okay? Add 90 days to it, and then hit repeat. You know, how many days? Like 20, 30, 40, however many you want to do. But when you do that, you're going to see that December 12, 2019 is going to come up on your little piece of paper. And if you Google that date, if you Google December 12, 2019, it says the first diagnosis of the Wuhan virus broke out in Wuhan, China on that date. What are the odds on you putting in Revelation 12 sign September 23rd, 2019, add 90 days to it, and you get the exact date 
that the Wuhan China virus, the first diagnosed case in China broke out on the exact same day as on your paper. Then you look at the next date below it, okay, is March 11, 2020. Guess what happened on March 11, 2020? The World Health Organization came out on, t on, the, on the internet and everywhere saying it's a pandemic. So that's the, 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 that's the chart I'm working off of. I'm looking up these dates. I'm looking up these dates on this, uh, this chart. I'm looking it up and I'm highlighting what is taking place and I'm following it through the media and through news and through you know what's going on and every one of these boxes is getting checked off. Something's always happening on one of these dates. See, that's what's getting me more and more convinced that I'm doing something right. I'm on the right track. Okay, because if I wasn't on the right track, why are all these boxes getting checked? Like day after day after day after day, you go up and look at the date, it comes out exactly right to the day on the paper that happens in the news. What are the odds of that happening? You see what I'm saying? That To me, that's the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, showing me, wake up, this is exactly how it's doing it. Because see, this date here, the, the Revelation 12 sign and the 90-day gap could be the Antichrist agenda, and this one here that I put up, the coming judgments, is Father God's agenda. You see what I'm saying? Because it's two different agendas. Okay? The Antichrist has his plan, and Father God has his plan. Okay? But, I mean, you see all my notes and scribbling, because every day is something different comes up. It's not something new. That's why you have to really do Bible studying now, and see what I'm thinking is, too, that if you think about it, Father God, Yeshua, Jesus, is so merciful to you, he allowed you to be quarantined, self-quarantined in your house, okay? No job, no going out to clubs, no going out to baseball games, no going out to stores, no going out shopping, no going out anywhere. You know why? So you can read the Bible. And you can study his word and find salvation and repent before the tribulation begins, okay? That's what I'm thinking. He's giving you, he's not, he's giving you a window of time, and that window and doors are closing to closing because, like I said, and I'm still 100% convinced it will happen on a Passover. And like I said, there's two Passovers. So if it doesn't happen by the end of uh, the 16th of this month, it's going to happen probably in May because after that it goes. And you look at the, look at all the, all you have to do is sit back for a minute and look. They're already doing grabbing people off the street, giving, beating them making them pay thousand dollar fines for being outside the house. They're taking, they're going through grocery carts, checking stuff in grocery carts, saying it's not uh, necessary, and they're, just, they're determining what you can buy and can't buy. They're already putting all this stuff in place. So why do you think it's going to be another year? Why do you think it's going to be another year? It doesn't make any logical sense. You think this is going to go back to normal, and everything's going to be stopped, and everything's going to go back to normal, and they're not going to... All the tanks and everything that are driving around, all the videos of all the people going out with tanks and the and the orders of uh, rocket launchers or, or, or whatever it is, grenade launchers or whatever it is, coming out and military being staged everywhere. And like the, the last video I pointed out, the guy made a good point. The whole 30 days everybody was locked in the house gave the military and the police time to put, put themselves in position to lock down roads, can secure everything. Okay, that's what an invading. I was in the military. I'm ex-military, okay? I know. I'm a veteran. I know how the military works. All this stuff you're seeing is what an invading army does. That's what we did in Iraq. We had everybody stay off the street, okay? And then we started going out into the cities, and then we would start shooting people that if they came outside because it was a war, okay? That's what's going to happen, but instead of shooting people, they're going to do the rioting, and they're going to enact martial law and start taking and grabbing you and taking you and throwing you in jail. That's why they had to release all the people in jail to make room for the, the average citizen. Because think about it. Average citizen is not going to riot and go crazy. They're going to respect law. They're going to try to obey it. They're going to listen. Okay, yeah, I'll do this. I'll stay inside. I'll social distance. But now criminals don't got nothing to lose, right? So if you let the criminals out of the jail, then they can go into towns that are boarded up and start breaking all the windows. Then the governor can come on and say, hey, we got all these people going crazy and tearing up our city. We got to enact martial law now. And it covers everybody now. You see how they're setting everything up? I mean, I just want to point that out that I find it funny that Bill Gates 
is given in charge of the coronavirus. The Bible says he's given a crown, and crown means corona. Okay? And he continues for uh, 1,260 days. And real quick, because I'm about to get off here, but real quick, if you go on my premise, my assumption, everything I'm saying is, I ain't, I ain't, this ain't September, I don't know, I ain't going to be here, the rapture's going to take place, I'm going to be gone. Okay, I'm going to be gone, I'm going to get raptured. But I'm just saying, if you go on the premise, okay, because I go back to my, I go on back to my little letter thing I was saying about the Revelation 12 sign, and how every, all the boxes line up on my paper, Okay, I'm going off that premise. Okay, this is what I'm saying this. I'm going off that premise to say this. That when you put in September 7, 2020, say that's when the actual vaccine becomes out to where people can start getting injected and it goes out everywhere. <clears throat> and that's what I say Bill Gates gets a crown on his head and starts riding loose as the Antichrist, going forth to conquer and conquer because he's making everybody take the vaccine. Okay, and you do the 1260-day date count it puts February 19, 2024 as when everybody should already have been vaccinated and Bill Gates' time is up being in charge of the coronavirus. Okay? And it just so happens it matches my paper. Exactly. Okay? That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm so adamant about when the rapture is going to take place. That's why I'm so adamant about when, you know, the seals are going to be busted and all that stuff is because I use the Revelation 12 sign as a beginning of birth pain assumption. I put in 90-day date count. I went down and I listed it and did it 40 days, 40 times, repeated it 40 times, 90 days each gap, and at the end, you know, and I did the date count. And if you go through everything and you go back and you Google those dates, on each one of those dates, you had the Pope coming out signing letters with the imam, you had... This happening, that happening. You had all these big, big things happening. Economic stimulus packages being signed to give money to so-and-so, for example. You had all kinds. There's so many, I can't even remember all of them. But every one of my little boxes on my little piece of paper was getting checked on the exact same day. Exact same day that this paper said, okay, something in the news big came out. Okay? And that's what I'm basing my premise on saying that I think Bill Gates is the Antichrist, and I think his his reign as the Antichrist, and he's going to be revealed to the world when the virus, when the vaccination comes out and makes an announcement, we got the vaccine, everybody can start receiving it. That's when he gets his crown to go for conquering, and that's when he gets exposed and comes out as the Antichrist. Okay? So it's going to be September 7, 2020, based on my calculations and what I believe the Father's showing me, and you do 1,260 days, February 19th, 2024. And here's another thing that just popped in my head. What happens on April 8th, 2024? Great American Eclipse. So you got February, you got March, you got March, April, two months. Two month gap. Then the Great American Eclipse happens. Come on, people. I mean, but really, you need to be in your home reading and praying like everything. I mean, you need to be searching the scriptures, find salvation, repent. If you ain't right with God, you better get right because I'm telling you, it's about to get real. And you're, you're, you're talking less than 30 days away, okay, from the tribulation beginning for real and all locked and loaded and everything coming out. I mean, for, I, can't, I can't plead no more with you people. You don't want to listen to it. You're going to wind up in the tribulation because you don't listen. And the Bible says people perish for lack of knowledge. His people perish for lack of knowledge. Because you don't want to pick up the Bible. He even stopped the whole planet, people. Come on, wake up. He stopped the whole planet so that you can go ahead and pray, get in your prayer closet, repent, find salvation, and repent before he unleashes his judgment. Okay? You're not taking advantage of this. You're looking at it as... Oh, I can't get food or I can't do... You need to be looking at it. I need to be praying and getting close to God right now because it's getting ready to get real. All right, well, I'm just letting you know that I'm 98% Bill Gates is the Antichrist based on everything I'm seeing. And I don't know if he's going to be revealed as the Antichrist. I don't know if I'm just pipe dreaming. I don't know if I'm blowing smoke. I don't know if I'm reading into it more than what it is. I'm just giving you my opinion on it. And I'm going to be... I know for a fact I'm going to get raptured. I ain't even worried about it. I'm, I got the piece of past on stand. I ain't worried about nothing. Okay? So, I'm just letting you know, it's about to get real. Okay, well, take it easy.